Hey, what's up my friends? I'm your pharmacist Sidra and you are watching Ask Your Pharmacist. Hey, I think you're here because you want to know about post-COVID syndrome. Well, I'm going to answer that question along with a bunch of other interesting questions about COVID-19. So let's get going. <laughs> I feel there is so much information going on about the coronavirus that it boggles my mind. So many people are confused and panicked while still do not understand the importance of wearing masks. It is crazy. What's wrong with you people? So today I have picked your questions about the novel coronavirus and I'm going to try my best to clear some of your misconceptions and answer your questions. I, by the way, love this Q&A session because I feel it's a good way to interact with you and deliver good information at the same time. More so, I feel like it's like killing two birds with one stone. Jeez, which is kind of cruel idiom. But let's not be cruel. Let's spread love and read some of your questions. All right, so here we go. Let me open my first question. Okay, here you go. Okay, so here's the first question. Does drinking lots of water help flush out COVID-19? So whoever spread that myth about COVID-19 prevention, I wonder what's their logic behind it? Because if it was that easy, we won't be in a pandemic, guys. There is no evidence that drinking lots of water flushes out the coronavirus or stomach acid kills the virus. At least no evidence just yet. However, if this makes you drink more water, then by all means, go ahead, because drinking water has so many benefits. It's extremely good for your skin, promotes weight loss, and is great for general well-being. So why not? Okay, so let's see what we have next. Can you contract the coronavirus disease from a package in the mail? Okay, so coronavirus is generally thought to spread from person to person through respiratory droplets. Although the virus can spread for a short period of time on some surfaces, but I think it's unlikely to spread from domestic or international mail or products or packaging. See, there is still a lot that is unknown about COVID-19 and how it's spread. So I would suggest the best practice at this time is to wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds after touching any surface or package in this case and try to avoid touching your face, eyes or nose just so you don't get the disease. Okay, so the next question I have is, is headache a sign of coronavirus? Guys, headache alone is not a sign that you have coronavirus disease because there could be so many underlying causes of headache. But if you have headache along with fatigue, muscle aches and fever, then that may be a sign of coronavirus. In that case, I recommend that make sure you self-quarantine yourself and if your symptoms persist or worsen, then see your doctor and get tested for COVID-19. All right, so let's see what our next question is. And this is quite interesting question. It says, can mosquitoes or ticks spread COVID-19? That's a pretty interesting question. You know, COVID-19 is such a new virus and scientists are still researching about it. So far, CDC has no data that suggests that coronavirus or other similar coronaviruses are spread by mosquitoes or ticks. So like I said before, the main way that COVID-19 spreads is from person to person or respiratory droplets, but mosquito bite can spread malaria. So be cautious, try to wear a mosquito repellent or use mosquito net. And if you think you have been bitten by a mosquito, wash the bite with soap and water, uh, put on some calamine lotion to help stop the itching, which should soothe your skin. Just a side tip for you there. Okay, so finally, the most important question for which I guess you are here in this video. And that question is, what is post-COVID syndrome? So a lot of people who survived COVID-19 experienced a range of medical issues, some of these lasting for weeks or even months. In fact, one of my friends actually had a mild case of COVID-19 and she could not stop coughing for weeks after recovering. And actually she was put on breathing treatment to be used with a nebulizer 
and she also experienced that post covid syndrome which is kind of difficulty remembering things having like a brain fog and not being able to focus actually anthony fauci america's top infectious disease expert acknowledged this fact and he considered it as a common symptom post covid in many patients and this is something very serious to look at it's basically a reminder for those who think that coronavirus is not real you see it can have devastating and long term effects in fact cdc estimates that almost 2.5 million americans have the chronic fatigue syndrome as a post covid syndrome and it's affecting people's cognitive ability and so some says it goes away on its own after some time however remember that there is no pharmacological treatment available for it just yet so everyone who is watching this video please take this pandemic seriously make sure you're wearing masks make sure you are maintaining good social distancing routinely clean and disinfect the surfaces you're touching because by doing so you're not only protecting yourself but you're also keeping your surroundings safe okay so i know i said that was the last question but since the flu season is here i wanted to add this bonus question about covid-19 which i'm sure i will get asked throughout the flu season that will flu shot help fight the coronavirus so firstly i want to make this very clear that flu shot helps prevent influenza virus which of course causes flu and coronavirus is nothing like influenza virus so technically speaking it's not going to help find coronavirus should you get it sorry i'm disappointing you but that's a fact but while flu shot won't prevent covid-19 it's still a good idea to get it and if you want to find out why watch this video it tells you everything you need to know about the flu shot you can also watch my other videos on health and pharmacy topics and leave your questions in the comments because i will be reading those questions and answering them in the upcoming videos because typing takes a lot of time no just kidding i love answering to your questions in the comments but i think this is more fun i feel like this is more like one on one discussion and i get to interact with you guys which i love so that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and like always if you found value in this video please like share and subscribe now to stay up to date on new weekly videos on health and pharmacy i'll see you guys next time until then take care bye